welcome to another episode of Creative Clash, a live talent competition show featuring incredible Columbia students. I'm your host, Jessica New, and we've got an audio arts major and hip hop artist in the studio today, here to perform an original song, Tyrell Compton as Fanaticus. Take it away. The song is called I Want You to See. I got this complex that I'm about the next big thing And I just can't seem to forget that dream When you were there, right there on my team So it seems that a man with a 44 Magnum in hand Shot me down, I'm going down Six feet deep to reality Six feet deep actuality That I'm a walking cause and my point is broad I never could have been what my father thought Because he didn't think of a dad I sing But I've learned to swim, I've learned to give It's time I'ma find that peace I desire I'm 21 now, look at me, I'm a fighter I'm looking to retire, the cause of a liar The lack of understanding will never soon expire I'm wide with the cause to attain what is lost Faith in the cause, I look around my God I look around my God, can't fathom what this world has done, my God Maria thinks that sex is the key to attain the love that she so seeks And when he gets what he wants, he just ups and leaves Even her to weep, not again she speaks She's lost, looking for another piece of herself She's missing cause society speaks to a group of troubled youth Just like her, reinforcing that what she's done is a cure Unsure of herself anymore, cause the one she loved walked out that door And I'm sure that there's much, much more But this is what I see through that open door I promise I'm not lost, I just want you to see That I'm not who I used to be I know, know it's all, I just want you to see that this is my only remedy I'm feeling so alone I just want you to see That this is how I gain the love I see I wish you would just listen to me baby I wake up in the morning, and I'm back at it like a crack addict It's a bad habit, they keep me average, she keeps me savage, she keeps me balanced I never wish the pain, never wish the same Cause I played the game, it made me insane Yeah, it made me insane I played through the pain, everything that I gained is a problem when it tamed It's a problem when it rains, it washes away everything but the shame I wanted you to love me all the same, but I couldn't attain Till a man I became, characterized as a light skin Because I felt an expressed emotion even labeled as a woman, it pushed me away to a point of no returning Became hard, restart, living life like a true gangster So what I'm trying to get into, I'm at a dope boy status Remember rule number one, we savage Kick around the crib, stitches never live I made a name for myself, I'm trying to make it big I hope my daddy sees me, I was put out what I done, believe me When I say I worked hard, he had a second thought, he ain't show no love So we gotta depart, pack up the clip What I didn't see was my future peace I gotta keep my crown to stay the king Too late, man, I've lost him now When the cuff's too tight, the kick me down and say daddy are you proud but a tear falls down as he looks to the ground I promise I'm not lost I just want you to see that I'm not who I used to be I know you know it's hard I just want you to see that this is my only remedy I'm feeling so alone I just want you to see that this is how I gain the love I see I wish you would just listen to me, baby, please Listen to me I promise I'm not lost, I just want you to see That I'm not who I used to be I know you know it's hard, I just want you to see that this is my only remedy I'm feeling so alone, I just want you to see That this is how I gain the love I see I wish you would just listen to me, baby Listen to me, listen to me I wish you would just listen to me Thank you. Part of the show and tweet us at Creative Clash with your questions and responses to that amazing performance. And after the break, your tweet could be featured on the show. Stay tuned. I, was, I left it up your cue. Did you find 
the flashlight and the batteries? Yes. Did you make sure we're not missing anything in the first aid kit? Yep. Did you go through the plan with the kids again? Yes. The more you prepare today, the more you'll be able to reduce the devastating effects of a tornado, an earthquake, a power outage, or any other disaster. Get a kit, make a plan, be informed. Visit ready.gov. What if a disaster strikes without warning? What if life as you know it has completely turned on its head? What if everything familiar becomes anything but? Before a disaster turns your family's world upside down, it's up to you to be ready. Get a kit, make a plan, be informed today. Welcome back. Now that you've seen Tyrell's rap game, let's talk to him about his talent. So, when did you start rapping? I want to say about um, 2012, so around like three years ago or so. Wow, I would have thought you would have been doing it a lot longer. Really? Given that, yeah. Wow, thank you. <laughs> so what made you really want to start getting into rapping and music? Um, it was mainly, it wasn't even rapping that I really wanted to get into. I just wanted to just make music. Um, I started playing trumpet when I was really young. I went to the drums, I started playing guitar, and then I had made a friend who um, produced beats and he started sending me stuff. And I was thinking, oh wow, this sounds really cool, I actually want to write to this. So I started writing and I started rapping more from that. Wow, so you're multi-talented. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> so you like, you write your own lyrics then and yeah. most of the time you produce your own beats then? Yes. Where do you draw the inspiration to write your lyrics from? Um, mainly from um, just experiences in school. Um, I was bullied a lot in high school, and I, um, I don't want that to sound very cliche, but um, I just I felt really lost, and kind of music brought me back from that. Yeah. And I wanted to make music to help others who felt that same way that I did. I want to be able to create music to express myself. It's very therapeutic, and I want to also be that kind of helping hand and that like person, and music is a great medium for that, to be there for people who didn't have for instance, like what I had when I was going through high school and I was going through all that. How inspirational. So. Look at you. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So uh, going back then, what have you, what have you done uh, musically back home? Where are you from first off? Oh, I'm from um, the eastern suburbs of Cleveland, Ohio. Okay. And what did you do musically back there? Um, I was in the marching band, the pep band. Um, I did brass choir. Um, uh, what else? I also played drums with friends because um, they played guitar and we would jam. Um, I was also in jazz band as well, oh, playing neat. trumpet. And then I joined um, the local community college's um, jazz band as a trumpet player and as a drummer as well. Wow. So mainly just things like that. Yeah. And then um, when I started rapping, I started connecting with other people to start doing more shows as well. So it made sense. You came to Chicago to network more and, and yeah. everything like that. Wow. So mm -hmm. uh, what year are you at Columbia? I'm a junior. I just transferred here this past year. So. Okay. Wow. Yeah. What's your major? Audio arts and acoustics. Okay, so that's a little bit more on the recording side of everything? Yeah. So is that more of like where you're looking to go with your career? Yeah. I want to, um, I do, like, I would love to manage bands as well, oh. but I feel like my place would be better as a producer, kind of being behind the scenes and working with artists and trying to develop them in their musical sound, if that makes sense. Yeah. Oh my so, gosh. Wow. So what would you say your musical sound is like? Oh, that's tough. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I love your question. It's always, shy, it's always tough to de, um, define yourself. Um, I would say, like, of course, it's hip hop. Um, I would say it's a little alternative. It's a little poppy. Some of it is. Um, I would also say that um, it's very spacey. I've had a lot of people tell me it was very spacey and that I sound a little bit like Kid Cudi as well. Really? So, yeah. So, who are some of your influences? Kid Cudi. <laughs> <laughs> Good he's, influence um, to have. Though. He's great. Exactly. He's um he's a hometown hero for me as well. He's mm. awesome. Um, he's an influence. Childish Gambino is an influence, not just as an artist, but just as a person because he's a writer. Um, he was an actor as well. I've I've always wanted to act. <laughs> just as a side note, but um, and outside of that, um, Incubus, one of my favorite bands. Um, ah. They're also a big influence, influence, inspiration for me. Yeah. Wow, so um, 
so then in doing all of this and you know get are you trying to like get your name out there and just network up with a bunch of different people and everything in a way yeah I mainly just I guess I just want to get my music heard I want people to hear it I want people to enjoy it as much as I enjoyed creating it yeah. and to be able to learn from it what would you say to like a young kid starting out I know I would, you're young, yeah. <laughs> I'm young, but a younger kid. <laughs> yeah, I would definitely say networking is key, but you have to remember where your heart is and where you came from because you always have to incorporate your heart into what you do because if you're not doing what you want and what you love with all of your heart, then what's the point of doing it? Because then it's, only, it's not going to be as full as you want it to be, if that mm -hmm. makes sense. No, it does. Wow, so young and wise. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> no, no, of course. So um, so where can we find more of your music? At soundcloud.com slash, I think it's slash, like, but um, Fanaticus. So yeah. Okay, well, look, look him up there. And, yeah. you know, you have a mixtape coming out tomorrow. So check that out. Thank you so yeah. much. Thank you. <laughs> So, um, so you've been tweeting us at Creative Clash throughout the show with your questions for Terrell. Now let's throw it over to our social media producer, Josh, who's going to give us the lowdown on what you guys had to say about his performance. Josh, what's our first tweet? Thanks, Jess. Uh, our first tweet is from Ash Maud. She says, Tyrell, where do you see yourself after you graduate from Columbia? Hmm, that, that's really tough. Um, <laughs> if I'm, I still want to be performing. Um, if I'm not performing, I would definitely want to be working in a studio, either interning, because I know it's kind of hard getting into that. Mm -hmm. But um, I definitely want to be working with the studio, kind of work my way up. And I want to move to L.A. That's one of my big aspirations. Really? Yeah. Why? Why L.A.? Just because the music scene, like as big as it is in Chicago, a lot of the bigger heads are more in Los <laughs> Angeles. So I really yeah. want to be able to move there and work with bigger name artists and work with a record company so I can help produce up and coming artists. Let's not forget it's warm all year round. Yes. <laughs> I really would love that. <laughs> uh, any more questions? Uh, yes. Um, this is another qu uh, question from Josh Walker, 21. Mm -hmm. He says, uh, Tyrell, how long have you uh, had dreads for? Hashtag <laughs> nice dreads. Yeah. Someone loves thank your you. dreads. Yeah, thank you, Josh. Um, I've been growing my dreads for three years now, just wow. about. I started growing my hair in the summer of 2011, and then I dreaded them in the summer of 2012. So it'll be three years in June. <laughs> That's commitment. Yes. Wow, so this kind of started all the time when your music all started. Yeah, pretty much. Oh my gosh, <laughs> go hand in hand. Yes. <laughs> Any more questions? Uh, yes, I have one from Sam Valdez. She says, um, how much sampling do you incorporate into your music? Hmm. I used to not sample at all, believe it or not. I started sampling when one of my close friends actually was telling me about how he was sampling. Like the song that we just played, he produced that for me and he used two samples. Mm -hmm. I've been sampling more recently in the past couple of months. When I first started making music, I never sampled. Why? I don't, like, I don't know, I honestly, it was frustrating. And trying to figure out how to do what I wanted to, I would just get frustrated and be like, you know what, screw this. I'm just going to create it, like just everything original. Start from know? scratch. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, any questions? Uh, two more questions, uh, Tyro. Who's your favorite DJ from um, J Styles underscore? Ooh, ah, that's close. Well, not close, but that's hard. Um, hmm. Ah, oh, man. Um, DJ EV from Cleveland is really awesome. And if not him, I don't know if you would count him as a DJ, but um, Zed. Because I saw him at Lollapalooza, and he was phenomenal. I loved his stage presence. I loved his whole entire performance. Is that what makes a good DJ a good DJ? Sa yes. Stage presence and their performance. and mm -hmm. They just to have to have a lot yeah. of energy, bring a lot to the table, right? Exactly. <laughs> like To be able to perform effectively in anything you want to do, you have to make sure the crowd knows you <coughs> and recognizes you. If you can't <coughs> let them know that you're here and you're doing what you want to do, then they're not really going to pay much as, like, attention to you and they're not really going to be as invested in it as you are. Right. So, okay. Yeah. Uh, any, any more uh, questions? Yeah. Yes. La last one. Um, this is from Killian Claire. She says, "If you could collaborate with one artist, who would it be?" Oh man, that ah, oh, that's extremely Kid tough. Kid Cudi. <laughs> it it probably is, but it wouldn't be just with him as a whole. It would be him and his um, producer, Dot the Genius, as Wizard, which is like W Z R D. They released an album together under that name as a band, and that's one of my all-time favorite albums. So I would collaborate with them as that. Wow, what a, all these names, they're yeah. <laughs> really out of this world. Well, once again, thank you so much for thank being you. here today. It looks like that's all the time we have. 
Um, so once again, thank you so much for coming in and thank showcasing you. your amazing talent. Thank you. Uh, if you loved his performance, <laughs> then make sure to vote for him at tinyurl.com slash votecreativeclash. He can't win without your vote. And be sure to tune in for our next show tonight at 9 p.m. Central Time to see another amazing talent. I'm your host, Jessica New. Thanks for watching. <laughs> I'm in the cut.